You're sitting on the toilet, scrolling through your phone, enjoying a rare moment of peace during a quiet morning. Sunlight filters softly through the frosted window as the only sounds accompanying your thoughts are the distant chirping of birds. Suddenly, the tranquil morning shatters as a loud explosion erupts through the stillness. The floor shakes beneath you as the thunderous blast rips through your body. Porcelain shrapnel rains down onto you as you black out on the floor. When you wake up, you find yourself covered in serious burns. The toilet you were sitting on completely destroyed. What just happened? September 21st, 2022. Emergency services were called to an apartment in China after an explosion rocked the building. Firefighters arrived on scene to find a young man sprawled out on the floor of a bathroom, covered in serious burns. Pieces of porcelain littered the room and there was exposed plumbing where it looked like a toilet should have been. The toilet had exploded. But why? Has something like this ever happened before? And how likely is it for a major toilet malfunction to make your next movement your last? Don't you think it would be a good idea to refrain from ingesting caffeine until the answer to this question is determined? What do you mean? You know what caffeine does to the human bowels. Oh, uh, right. Good call. August 5th, 2019. Mary Lou Ward was sleeping soundly in bed with her husband in the early hours of the morning, when suddenly, a deafening explosion sound accompanied by the piercing noise of shattering glass woke her up. Stunned by the scary blast, they went to explore what happened, and found their bathroom like a war zone. Their toilet was shattered into pieces, crumbled on the floor with shards of porcelain and debris everywhere. The tank had detached from the wall from the impact of the blast. It seemed like the damage was extensive and had affected the piping. Even parts of the window had blasted out in their bathroom. After the rude awakening, the couple quickly called a plumbing service to find out why their toilet exploded and assess the damage. It took experienced plumber Jordan Hagedorn three hours to figure out what actually happened, since neither him nor his father, who was a plumber before him for 40 years, had ever come across an issue like this. Checking how the piping was laid out, Jordan came to the conclusion that the septic tank had been struck by lightning, igniting methane gas in the sewer pipes, causing an explosion. They found that the septic tank was buried so shallow into the ground that the lid was only an inch under the surface. The lid blew off in the explosion, and the sanitary pipe was entirely gone from the damage. Of course, the toilet that shattered was a write-off, but the explosion was so bad that the pieces of porcelain were sent airborne like missiles, sending the shards in all directions, penetrating the wall. He posted about the scary incident on Facebook as a PSA, writing, No more pooping while it's storming outside. Thankfully, no one was injured, although the homeowners were scarred for life. Mary Lou said she was thankful she wasn't using the toilet at the time. Sure glad I wasn't in there. I'm not taking any showers and not going to the bathroom, not when it's thunderstorming and down here. That's a lot. But surely, what are the chances? After all, Lightning never strikes in the same place twice. Incorrect statement detected. A location has the same probability of being struck by lightning whether or not it has previously been struck by lightning. Uh, yes, Howard, I know, it's a figure of speech. Besides, this isn't the only time something like this has happened. May 5th, 2022. A toilet in an apartment complex in Oak Mulkey, Oklahoma suffered the same fate when the porcelain throne shattered into pieces. The culprit of the explosion? Lightning. Again, firefighters responded to an unusual call overnight after a series of lightning strikes from a powerful thunderstorm zapped through the ceiling of the complex, traveling through the vents and making a beeline straight for the toilet. The resulting photos of the damage is something you wouldn't believe unless you saw it with your own eyes. A toilet bowl completely evaporated. Thankfully, nobody was injured in the freak incident because that specific apartment was vacant and set to have new tenants moving in the following morning. It's safe to say they probably decided against moving in. It's probably a good reminder to say now that during a thunderstorm, it's best to avoid any form of plumbing, since lightning can travel through the plumbing system. The CDC actually recommends that it is best to avoid all water during a thunderstorm. Do not shower, bathe, wash dishes, or wash your hands. The risk of lightning traveling through plumbing might be less with plastic pipes than with metal pipes. However, it is best to avoid any contact with plumbing and running water during a lightning storm to reduce your risk of being struck. Don't worry, Bean. Your tank is an isolated system and isn't connected to any plumbing, so you should be fine. 
And while these two incidents fortunately left the people involved unscathed, the same can't be said for the next case. In 2016, Gary Gibson began hearing strange noises coming from his bathroom, the gurgling of the john running on its own, the whooshing sound of a waterfall as it flushed. That's when it hit him. The flushing system. Gary's toilet had a Flushmate 3 pressure assist flushing system, a product sold by Sloan Valve Company. In essence, the device was installed to remove the need to double flush and prevent clogging. Not wasting time, Gary scoured the internet to find a solution. He was faced with photos and articles that could only be described as war zone destroyed toilets hanging on by a pipe, shrapnel like pieces of porcelain littering the floor, holes punctured through the walls. That's when he came across a video from 2012. David Tucky, a family man, described hearing a violent roar that shook him to the core. In a panic, he rushed to the source, the bathroom, knowing his young son had just been in there, had his son caused a clog. But that wasn't the noise of a backed up toilet. What he faced was much worse than he could have imagined. The top of the toilet had blown completely off, shattering porcelain shards everywhere, denting the walls, breaking a humidifier to pieces, and the flusher was torn in half. He'd never seen anything like it before. All that ran through David's mind was the horrifying thought of what would have happened if his son had not left right in time. Thankfully, David's son was all right, but others weren't as lucky. As he continued scrolling, Gary was face to face with even more grim images and articles, jagged scars, crimson streaks, people hoisted on stretchers, and lifelong stitches, enough to make someone fear using the toilet ever again. Gary had a feeling of dread in the pit of his stomach. What if it had been him? The cases included 14 severe impact injuries and over 304 instances of property damage. A report in 2011 even mentioned that an explosion of porcelain had caused deep back gashes that required dozens of stitches. Thankfully, the injured person was young and healthy, with a better chance at recovering. Needless to say, there was a recall. Once it was in effect, customers were sent a repair kit. While it isn't exactly difficult to install, some people might have struggled and needed to hire help. This only frustrated people further as they weren't reimbursed for time or inconvenience. A nationwide class action lawsuit was filed in August 2012, leading to a settlement of a whopping $18 million. So what was specifically causing the toilets to explode? The problem was that the pressurized tank Flushmate implemented had two plastic pieces that would separate if exposed to too much water pressure, and the separation more often than not caused an explosion. That's why the tank was split in half in this video. If you thought that was bad, the company was well aware of this defect. Reports of the faulty product began as early as 2000. Instead of fixing their product or giving current customers a heads up, they decided not to disclose any possible risks. What do you expect when the prime directive of your capitalist society is to maximize profits and you humans call us machine solas? Well, yeah, you'd think Flushmate would have perfected the art of double flush toilets after this incident, but no. Only four years later, in 2018, more toilets began exploding after 23 injuries, one surgery, and property damage totaling around $710,000, 1.5 million units had to be recalled. But going back to our original case of the man in China, there hadn't been any reports of thunderstorms in the Longfang area that day. Nor did his toilet have any kind of needlessly fancy high-pressure flushing mechanism. Turns out, it's all because he lit up a cigarette. Firefighting officials found an excessive amount of methane on the scene even after the explosion had passed for some time. This highly flammable gas is usually contained in your household waste by a septic tank if the building isn't directly connected to the city sewers. The tank holds waste such as feces, urine, grease, oils, and fats before it gets pumped out regularly. Now, pair that highly flammable gas with a spark like a lightning strike or a lighter's ignition, well, boom. This is why it's extremely important to maintain toilets and sewage pipes regularly so that odors and sewer gases like methane don't leak. If you smell anything unusual near your toilet, it's best to call your plumber immediately to make sure it's rectified. So how the heck do we prevent toilets from, you know, spontaneously exploding, causing a tide of harm and destruction? The truth is that these cases of toilets exploding are quite rare, and the Flushmate cases were limited to those who had the flushing system installed. The average toilet in your household is probably not going to cause sudden chaos. Uh, hopefully. Should these exploding toilets stop you from using them? Of course not. These cases should serve as a PSA towards methane gas and sewage leaks. If you notice anything unusual, definitely call a plumber as soon as possible. And like Jordan said, no more pooping while it's storming outside.
Ah, now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go do something. Warning! Incoming weather anomaly. Ah, oh, crap. If you enjoyed this video, consider letting the YouTube algorithm know it's worth recommending to other viewers by clicking the subscribe button. You'd be surprised to know how much of an impact your one sub has. Also, do you use your phone on the toilet? If so, you may want to watch this next video about how a man who became completely paralyzed forever, all because he brought his phone with him into the washroom.